So the social driver website we had up basically had uh, just our blog on it and just a little bit of contact information. It wasn't really telling the story of why social driver exists. It really didn't communicate like our culture and our vision for the world and why we come to work every day. And so we wanted to have a website that told that story. We had tried to build the website several times on our own. Right, we started and we stopped. Uh, we had designs. We threw those away, started new designs. And I think one of the things about creativity is it needs limit. Uh, that's the difference maybe between being creative and being artistic, is being creative means that you can come up with great concepts within a limited time or within a limited budget. And so I think like the hackathon gave us that limit to be creative in. Uh, for us, the way we structured it was in the morning, we got together and we talked about our why. We talked about kind of our beliefs and our values. And then at lunchtime, we sat down and split into two teams. One team that was going to be focused on content and the direction, and the other side was going to be focused more on kind of the, the technology and the design. You know, making meaningful connections was the theme for the website for the hackathon, and we hadn't decided that before, and that was really based on kind of that process that we went through at the beginning. We're a small company, we're here in Washington, D.C. We want to be able to tell the story about why we come to work every day, and the new website is a milestone for such a driver as we grow. You know, uh, there's been a few key moments. One is moving into our new office here. When you come into this office, it feels innovative. It has a certain vibe, it has a certain look. And uh, when we thought about building this new website, we thought about it almost in terms of a new office. You know, it's been live for a few days now, and we're already looking at the analytics and seeing a huge difference.